Well, welcome back. April is Autism Awareness Month and also marks the return of the Savannah Autism Conference. Back for the first time since COVID and this morning it is presented by the Matthew Reardon Center for Autism in Savannah. And I'm pleased to be joined by its CEO, Patty Victor, and the Development Director, Molly White. Ladies, thank you so much for being here today. Um, we're right up against it now. This is coming up uh, at the end there of we this are. week. Um, first of all, how exciting is it to be able to get back and to do this conference, something you were kind of building momentum and then COVID hit and now you had to kind of take a step back and regroup. Well, we did an online conference in 2021, but we're so excited to welcome people back in person because it's just not the same. And um, you don't get the to get to interact with our speakers as much as you would online and um, our vendors. And we're just really excited to have guests back in person. You've got a pretty good uh, lineup. I was looking at it. You've got, yes. pro you know, professionals kind of ranging the, the gamut who are going to be doing these workshops and, and, and speaking as part of the conference. Yes. So we are covering pretty much from di initial diagnosis all the way to transition out of high school and into the work into the workforce and potentially other education opportunities. So there's something for every age group there. Um, we also have um, I'm really excited about for being an autism parent because my daughter is 10 and I don't know how we're going to have the big talk about sex. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we have Amy Lang coming all the way from Seattle to help you. And she does this for neurotypical children too. So, um, if, if you haven't, if you're look, if you're stressing out about how to talk to your child about that, um, I suggest that you come check her out. What was the, the genesis of putting this conference on in the beginning? Um, to be honest with you, I had been working for the company for two years and I thought, I wonder if Temple Grandin would come to Savannah. And I contacted her agent and she said, sure. So we had to have a conference. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we realized then how much the, um, the response from the community was such that we realized there's a real dearth of information for families, for educators. I mean, our conference uh, targets parents, educators, healthcare professionals, self-advocates. Um, we are, have been the only autism organization in Savannah since 2000. And um, we have a lot of kids in, this, in our community that have autism and so the success. We've drawn uh, people from, get attendees from nine states. So really uh, the whole Southeastern United States has responded um, and the demand grew. We were, we peaked out in 2020. I think I told you earlier, mm -hmm. we had our last in-person in conference uh, two weeks before the state closed for COVID. Um, so we're, it's a great place for parents and educators to network with each other uh, to share their experiences with kids, to share, to encourage each other. It's, it's a, uh, special education is a tough job. Uh, being the parent of special needs children is a tougher job than, um, I mean, being a parent is a tough job. Sure. Right, so uh, a little bit more, but um, it's, it's always a very exciting week for us. You mentioned it there, the opportunity to be around other people, to, to ask questions, to be able to get, get answers. Um, how do you generate the, uh, the, the speakers that you wanted to bring in? I know you've got a couple of, um, of men with autism who are speaking, do a, a TED talk or TEDx talk? Yes, so um, Dr. Daniel Wendler is our, um, he is, um, he's come for how many conferences? Daniel, is Daniel has spoken at every conference. He was an undergraduate student in college when he first came and spoke at our very first, hmm. um, at our very first, and I found him through his TED Talk. Okay. And so we're, he's our standard bearer now and comes every year. He uh, has his PhD, uh, is a psychologist, um, and has a lot to say from his personal experience as well as from his professional experience. Um, his best friend, Dr. Kyler Shumway, Shumway uh, will also be with us. Um, and. Kyler is gonna talk about bullying. Bullying is something that's very common in schools now, um, well, in our society, actually. And so that's been, a, the, at our last conference, that was a really well-attended um, workshop. So he will be back to talk more about not only what it's like to be bullied, but also how parents can help their child respond if they're being bullied. Uh, how to help the person who's being bullied respond. Um, so I think it's going to be, a, so we, we're covering sex, yes. we're covering <laughs> bullying, 
Uh, we're covering education, um, individual education plans. If you are the parent of a special needs uh, student, if you're the teacher of a special needs student, that individual education plan is critical to the child's development and success. And so we're going to talk a lot about the components of the IEP. We're going to talk about how parents and IEP school teams should be working together uh, to make sure that the best plan is put together for the child. Well, the Savannah Autism Conference is coming up on uh, Thursday and Friday. It's in, in Richmond Hill uh, uh, at the uh, Richmond Hill City Center, at the, right there in JF Gregory Park. And right. little, but you can go, out, go for a little walk in the afternoon too um, and, and enjoy that. Uh, tickets available at autismsavannah.org. We will have that information on our website as well. Ladies, thank you all so much for being thank here for and uh, looking us. forward to, uh, to hearing more about that. Uh, full disclosure, my wife is, uh, works at uh, the, one of the speech therapy centers, which mm -hmm. is a, a sponsor, a corporate partner of the, of the event. And I, I know you, it's great to have local it community is. people it's involved great. in that. All right, coming